win last night makes it four straight wins for the Padres. Just red hot here as uh, as they're opposing the Astros tonight. You think that can continue, or do the Astros maybe fight back here a little bit this evening? This one going at 940, so plenty of time to track the line moves, see how this one goes. And it's Hunter Brown going against King in this one. So uh, how are we looking at back game two here, Ross? Uh, more of game one? I think so. Uh, I think this is an excellent starting pitching matchup for starters. Uh, Hunter Brown and Michael King uh, both having great years this year. However, uh, Hunter Brown is coming off a shaky outing after going through a stretch in which he was absolutely dominant for four straight starts. Uh, In his last outing at home against Oakland, he allowed five earned runs on nine hits and just five innings pitched. Brown just six and eight in his team starts on the road this year. That's not win-loss decisions. That's what the team record is in his 14 starts on the road. And his 141 whip is sort of in the shaky uh, territory over those 14 road starts. And that's a contributing uh, factor in Houston not having uh, an abundance of success when he's on the mound on the road. Um Again, they're coming off last night's three to one loss at San Diego. They're now five and fourteen on the road this year versus National League teams, meaning the Houston Astros, Dan. And you mentioned San Diego, four and oh in their last four. And in that four game winning streak, they've only allowed a combined four runs. So they're getting excellent pitching. This team continues to roll uh over the last two months or so. Uh, 34 and 15 over their last 49 games. It's really catapulted them in a position where they actually were contending in the NLOS, but good luck trying to catch the Dodgers. But and again, uh, they're pretty solidified in terms of at least a uh, NL wild card spot. Michael King, uh, last three starts, a 117 ERA, 28 starts on the season, a 284 ERA, and a 1.18 whip. Those are very good numbers. The Padres' bullpen has been lights out over the last seven games uh, with a 210 staff ERA and 078 whip. So uh, they've been getting it done as well. And uh, I think we're getting a cheaper price here, Dan, because Hunter Brown's on the mound. Uh, But again, as I alluded to, he's coming off that shaky start. I just love the way San Diego has been playing over the last month and a half to two months. I'm going to take the San Diego Padres at home at this very cheap price of minus 115 over to Houston Astros. Uh, we have a combination uh, package right now that uh, has been going all week long, and it expires tonight at midnight. You can get all of me and Jesse's picks for a seven-day period of time for just $99. That's everything that we put out from Jesse Shule and Ross Benjamin. As a matter of fact, college football, since September 9th of last year, I don't have the exact win-loss uh uh, in front of me, but it's 60% winnings uh, since Ooh. September 9th of last year. Finished number two uh, overall in money earned in college football last year at Wager Talk, and we're off to another great start here. Again, TCU, SMU, folks, you can't miss it. And how about this, Dan, since 2021, since I joined the uh, Sports Memo slash Wager Talk Network, um, 132 and 81 with my picks in the month of September in all sports and uh, by our grading system, it's good for a, a net profit of $12,363. So I've owned the month of September. I'm coming off a great week in college football. Uh, it's no fluke. If you consider going back to last year, how well I did in college football, TCU SMU, five bucks, $5. Even Jesse could afford that. 